Creative is a worldwide leader in digital entertainment products. Although they have premium products, today we are going to have a look what is probably the best budget soundbar on the market. Welcome to the review of the Creative Stage V2 2.1 soundbar. Hello, Thiago here. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and unboxings like this one. If it's something that interests you, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing in the end of the video. With this said, let's start the review of the Stage V2 soundbar. Just a quick disclaimer, Creative have sent this soundbar to me for free. To review it, although this was sent for free, I will review it and share my honest opinion with you guys. With this out of the way, let's start the review. Starting with the price, at the time of this recording, Creative have a huge sale on all the products. And the Creative Stage V2 2.1 soundbar have an amazing price of £79.99 in UK. Sadly for the US there is no discount, so the price tag is $109.99. Like always, I will leave links on the video description, please check them out for best price. With the price out of the way, let's move on to the design. The Stage V2 looks really nice. At the top you have a bolted look with a glossy black. To the front, a nice speaker grille in metal, with a small LED indicator. The sides are on the same glossy black, with one side, the right one, having the built-in controls. To the back, you have the connectivity ports and the power as well. The soundbar is not the biggest one, but here we go, the dimensions are 680 by 100 by 78 millimeters, and the subwoofer is 116 by 250 by 423 millimeters. Talking about connectivity now, it's good to know that Creative have included wireless and wired connectivity options. So, in terms of wired, you have an optical input and that's great for the older TVs, HDMI arc for modern TVs, USB connectivity and this is a Type-C connection, great for consoles and computers. You have also auxiliary port. So, now you should be all covered no matter which device you use. Moving on to the wireless connectivity, you have Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity with the lowest quality SPC audio codec, but let's not forget this is a budget soundbar. So if you want to listen to good music, I would recommend to use the wired connection. The only time I would recommend to use the wireless connection is in case you have a party and you can use it as a speaker. The remote control is small but stylish and looks premium in your hand. At the top, you have the power on and off button and the mute button. Next, the inputs, where you can choose between the wireless option or the wired one. After that, the volume up and down, play and pause, and previews and skip buttons. Great when you're using the Bluetooth option. Next, the sound mode, reset, and dialogue buttons. And the last ones, the more or less on the bass and treble. On the side of the Stage V2, you have a few controls as well. The power on and off, the volume up and down, and the Bluetooth connectivity. And now I'm gonna ask you, please be the judge on the next sound test. It will be a mix of music and talking videos using the Bluetooth option with my iPhone and using the wired option, the TV arc.
way for far too long creators uh, iPhone shoots 10 bit Google Pixel shoots amazing photos you can buy gimbals you can buy new lenses you can buy a ton of things and it's always with you in your pocket my friends on the USK vision put together a kit so we can vlog with Sound beats. I have tested a lot of sound beats earbuds, and after seeing the watch, the sound beats watch. Pro one. And now the most important part of the video, the sound quality of the Stage V2, starting with the sub bass tones. The Stage V2 have a dedicated subwoofer, while the subwoofer will not compete with more expensive solutions, it's safe to say that will be a much better experience over the TV speakers, just because the TVs don't have the chamber to reproduce the tones. So, and even against more expensive all-in-one soundbars, the V2 delivers low-end tones quite well because of the subwoofer and makes it quite enjoyable to watch movies with a lot of action and explosions. So at this price point it's a plus. Moving to the mid bass now, again this is a budget soundbar so it's not going to compete with the ones with more sound drivers or more expensive subwoofers, but the mid bass does deliver a pretty punchy sound and listening to music on this is amazing, again at this price point, it's pretty impressive. Talking about mid-range next, the Creative Stage V2, in my opinion, takes the lead on this area of sound. The vocals come out of the foreground and listening to podcasts or watching news is quite enjoyable. Very impressive to say the least. The highs extend very well and will provide you with a crystal sound at the top end. The sound stage on the Stage V2 performs pretty well. When you press the surround mode button, the sound will become a bit more wider sounding. And the viewing experience, in my opinion, will improve a lot, giving you a sense of surround sound. And again, at this price point, it's very impressive. The last is instrument separation, and again, it's done really well with a low number of drivers. So, you will get a soundbar with a Type-C input, a very good mid-range with surrounding sound effect, at a budget price. In my opinion, if you want a budget soundbar, this is the best of the market at this time. And that's it guys, this was my review on the Creative Stage V2 2.1 soundbar. Thanks for watching this video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time. One last thing, please share this video with your friends. That's all for now, stay safe and I'll see you in my next review.